Hi there, this is Brian, also known as Bitsanity, and this is my proposal for an AI hockey game that would run in the web browser. And this hockey game would enable people to play person versus computer and computer versus computer, and to do so in some kind of an organized league fashion. Here's where I'm starting from. We have the handheld game from 1978. That was the first electronic hockey game that I remember. And it didn't have any AI in it whatsoever. It was just an algorithm. And once you figured out the algorithm, you figured out the game. And once you figured out the game, it was less fun. Since then, hockey games, um, video games have incorporated AI. So we're leaps ahead of this, but Yours truly doesn't really know very much about AI yet. I learned a little about neural networks a few decades ago, but never made one, and I don't know anything about artificial intelligence. There's a story of the golem, a robot made of clay just intelligent enough to move itself. Then Descartes provides the temptation to believe maybe we can make something that thinks in some way. And the story of Pinocchio gives us a kind of golem that has enough intelligence to be like a real boy and at the same time know it isn't real. I suppose my hope for this project would be to make hockey players and see if AI can make them convincingly effective in a hockey simulation and make that an uh, entertaining game. I said I didn't know anything about AI really, and I don't know anything about game design either, but here goes anyway. Let's start with the idea of a HockeyBot, and for now HockeyBot is a pure virtual entity. There will be six HockeyBots on the home team and six visitors on the virtual ice at any time. Our hockey bots will run within a virtual world that has some sense of physics, the laws of physics that the hockey bots have to obey. The world will include a chaos engine to make the puck bounce strangely and, and so make things a little bit more interesting. There is a hockey rules engine to flag offsides and make a hockey game happen. And there is a standard playing surface that draws itself in the user's browser. And if, if um, hockey bots are not virtual, if there's some sort of presence for them in the real world, then um, that would also be an interface to control those things in the real world according to what the AI is doing. Our game is controlled by a person operating their web browser. This person, the user, can power on and off the game and start, pause, and stop the game clock. The user might control one player on the home team at any one time using a game controller or the mouse and keyboard. Controlling a player this way would be the mechanism to train that player's corresponding AI. We also have two timers a real-world time clock and an elapsed game time clock that are controlled by the user. The job of the clocks is to produce a clock tick signal to each of multiple subsystems and tell each subsystem on that call how much game time has elapsed since the previous call. Each subsystem then produces some kind of result and all these results as the subsystems do these calculations are available globally as inputs to all the other subsystems. For example, the HockeyBot subsystem has to decide each tick where to move, to shoot the puck, carry the puck, or hit another player. The engines have to know each player's decision in each moment to decide what happens next as a result and make that available next or make that available to the next subsystem. 
This last subsystem has access to all the inputs from the engines and the game control and within it there is one something for each player and that something is an artificial neural network. Each neural network is like the player's brain. The neural net has a sensing aspect and a decision making aspect. It has to take a set of inputs and produce a decision to hit, carry, shoot, or move just as a person would if controlling that hockey bot. The neural network should have a standardized interface it can use to get simulation data. The neural net should be capable of being converted to text so it can be stored and transmitted as a file and then inserted into another game engine and played as a player. And the neural net should be callable from JavaScript code in the browser. Anyone could implement a player neural net in JavaScript or they could use any other language they want to as long as we could call it through a WebAssembly interface. I hope that a few AI savvy people and organizations will create player AIs and teams and will see the benefit to training AIs using competition with other teams. Imagine there is some group of teams we might use to train our AIs and compete with one another. And this group of teams could be something like a National Hockey League, in this case maybe a Robo Hockey League or RHL. The purpose of the RHL would be to provide a reference game engine so anyone could run the game simulation as everyone else does and train players accordingly. The RHL might provide a decentralized marketplace in which people could buy and sell their AIs that they've created or seen used in competitions and build teams by assembling AIs produced by others, perhaps. The RHL might run a number of publicized game simulations in which teams are played against one another as a virtual season that has official results. The RHL might charge a fee for including a team and playing it and might benefit from marketing and publication rights. Here's a demo of something our hockey game might look like. We start with a web browser and there's a power button. Once on, we have buttons at the top left to control the game clock. There's play, pause, and stop. The game clock will simply count down through three periods. We have a hockey surface with the NHL standard markings on it and the surface is to scale. The physics and other engines still need to be developed. Then we're going to need a way to manage player neural networks and insert them into the simulation and uh, use the rules engine to make the game run. So there's a long way to go, but who knows, maybe some of this could be written by AI. And that's all for now. Thank you for listening. I hope that uh, this project might be of interest to people who want to experiment with neural networks and AI and do so in a way that is fun and competitive. So that's all for now. Have a good one.